Right, so I just wanted to start by saying that we've just been put into lockdown three, which is why I don't have my big camera and I don't have my lighting or anything because that's all at university because I thought I'd be back there by now, basically. But anyways. Oh, we just running around, chasing the lettuce, stop by the bend, still feel pathetic, pressing my wrist, severe depression, using my... It's been just over a year now since applying to the University of Cambridge and I thought that I'd make this video sort of talking about my thoughts about the whole experience. Now you'll probably find quite a few videos of people online talking about their experience but most people are just too stressed to film anything but I filmed some of the stuff while I was there because I wanted to be able to look back at my experience and see what I was actually thinking at the time and not just think what I now think that I was thinking at the time if that makes any sense. So anyways to set the scene Gabe and I went to some of the open days together to see if we actually wanted to study um, in the city. We got two of those Mo bikes, those bikes you can rent really cheaply and just went around the city and that was actually a really nice time because we got to see a lot of it and that evening we actually had dinner with Ali Abdal and his housemate Molly which was such a great experience talking to them about a bunch of topics. By the end of that evening I think we were both pretty sure that we would enjoy studying there. I went to a pretty decent state school in the UK and after I got my GCSE results, I decided that I would try to apply to study law at Cambridge. Now, since then, people have asked me what the hardest or what the most important part of the application process is. If you were to ask one of the admissions tutors, they would tell you that none of it is the most important because it's a holistic approach to your application. But I'm not sure that that's quite true. Instead, I think that it's pretty clear that the most important part of your application process is the interview. You see, the reality is that basically everyone who applies has all the A stars and GCSEs, all the nines, all the eights. They have great teacher references. They have great A-level predictions. They've got work experience. You know, they've got an excellent personal statement. Other than any extra tests you have to do, like the CLT for law, the interview is basically the only distinguishing factor between applicants. So because it's so important, before continuing, I thought that we'd go back to December 2019 and see what I was thinking during my interview experience. So I've made it to the King's Cross and I'm gonna get there like half an hour earlier than I was expecting. And I really thought it was a thought that counted, but it was my out you can do. Oh why I I do you kill me, yeah, you kill me, my dear. Uh oh oh why I are you feeling, are you feeling my ear? So I've made it to Cambridge. Um stations over there. I'm gonna prep, got myself some lunch. Feeling good. Then I'm gonna go for, I think it's a 25 minute walk up to Pembroke. Um, hopefully by that time, be ready to get my room key and we'll see from there. My darling, darling, every morning is different with you. It's quite nice actually. Here is my room for the evening in Pembroke College. That is what my accommodation is like during the interview. We're given this with the keys and the Wi-Fi in here. Also, dinner and breakfast vouchers. So I'm gonna grab dinner here tonight and breakfast tomorrow. So there we go. This is my room. Little bed, a sink. So I'm gonna have to find the bathroom. Uh, yeah, what time is it? It is 1.46, my CLT exam is at four. So I've got a little over two hours here before I need to go. I'm just gonna set up my iPad and laptop here, get a little bit of studying done before I go and then that's it. So yeah, the first thing that I had to do was the CLT which is the Cambridge law test, the additional law test that they require for the application. Now, it was quite annoying because I'd already done the LNAT, which is the test that Oxford requires and a bunch of other universities require like Bristol, Durham, King's College. So I had to do yet another test and arguably the LNAT is actually a more diverse test than the CLT is because there's a larger variety in the question types that they ask you. But honestly, I think that at this point, I was so sick of the constant preparation for so many different things. You know, LNAT at the time I was trying to drive, LNAT, CLT, 
Um, obviously A-levels, a bunch of things were happening at the time and I was just getting a bit sick of it. I think that I was more focused on writing something rather than what exactly I was writing. I have to say that it was definitely the most stressful test that I've ever done. So yeah, that time of test was something that I've never experienced before. And the layout of the room didn't make it any easier. Um, in fact, I'll, I'll draw it out now just to, uh, just to show you what it was like. So yeah, obviously it was one big room and then they had two rows of parallel facing desks and then two more rows of parallel facing desks. So everyone is just sort of facing each other whilst writing. And then you had like a little desk here which had a guy who was running it. So yeah, it was just quite a small room, quite a lot of pressure. Um, and it was just a test I'd never experienced before. But yeah, anyways, let's get back to what I was thinking at the time. Okay, so <clears throat> I've just finished the, the CLT probably the most intense hour of essay writing that I've ever had. Oh, it went by quickly. <laughs> sort of overwhelmed already. The question wasn't too complicated. It wasn't complicated at all, really. The fact that the question wasn't too complicated meant that maybe I didn't have as many interesting points to say as maybe if I'd taken a different question. Yeah, I mean, it was really intense. It was a, a big room and there were two parallel rows of desks, so you're facing everyone else whilst, whilst doing the essay. Um, and so you just hear these people just scribbling. And yeah, I mean, just like a normal exam, but it was more intense, definitely more intense. Um, so that's all I have to say about it. It is currently, wait, six o'clock? It can't be six o'clock. No, it's five, sorry, this, the time on this watch is wrong. It's 10 past five, dinner starts at, Six, um, possibly my only college dinner. <laughs> yeah. And then I'm just gonna do some, maybe a bit of interview prep for tomorrow, go over my personal statement and stuff, make sure it's fresh in my mind. Might go out for a walk later, not sure. Then I'll just call it an evening and this will be the first of the two days of my um, Cambridge interview. So there we go. At least a third of the process is done now. I've got two interviews left, done the CRT. There we go. So yeah, the CLT was quite different to any test that I'd experienced before, but I was quite happy that it was over. It was nothing compared to the stress that I felt on the actual interview day, which was the day after. Now, I had two interviews. The first one was what they call a general interview, and it went something like this. I had such a good interview. The first one was like, all these, all these law applicants were saying about how their interview was their general interview was asking them like questions about where do you see the law? Just asking about my, EP, my EPQ, uh, Young Enterprise. And then a couple of law questions that really weren't that difficult to answer. So yeah, the first interview was actually quite fun. The woman who interviewed me was lovely. We had a very good conversation about, you know, my EPQ, my personal statement, and a few law topics based on current affairs. So I think I, I spoke about like the gig economy and the, the, the legal impact of that. So yeah, it was all quite enjoyable. But the second interview was where everything went wrong. If you've applied to study law or you're thinking about it, you've probably heard or read letters to a law student. And that's written by a man called Nick McBride who happened to be my interviewer. I knew that he had a role at Pembroke College and he ended up being one of the two people who interviewed me for the second interview, which went something like this. I'm not getting into Cambridge. <laughs> that was the worst thing, <laughs> without question. The worst thing that I've ever done in my whole life. I... McBride was the... Mate, he, he, he grilled me. Oh, what does this mean? I have no idea. Oh uh, yeah, so it was pretty awful. Anyways, I'm gonna go for a drink now. Uh... Now, as you can tell, I was a lot less enthusiastic about the success of this interview. So I met up with my mate Gabe, who coincidentally happened to be in Cambridge the same day for his interview, and we went for a drink, which I think was deserved after the stress of the interview day. So yeah, that was my interview experience. I'm sure that you've heard lots of people say that not getting into Oxford or Cambridge was the best thing that ever happened to them, but I'm not gonna say that. I think that basically, no matter where you go, that will be the only university experience you have. So obviously, to you, that'll be the best uni experience because of the people you've met and the things you've done at the university that you ended up going to. So yeah, I'm gonna talk about my experience. Um, and I just wanna say that I'm not trying to justify anything. 
Um, I know that I made mistakes and there are things that I should have done better, but to talk about my experience, I have to be able to talk about what I experienced. So the interview, by its very nature, it's impossible to be objective with everyone who applies. Now, obviously the tutors are very skilled at conducting the interviews, they've done it for years, but they're not all the same, especially between colleges. In fact, I think that it's definitely the case that if you apply to a couple different colleges that same year, a few would let you in and a few wouldn't because it really depends on the day who interviews you, you know, how you're feeling and a bunch of factors. It's just impossible to be objective with an interview. Also, the actual layout and structure of the interview process is different for different people and different colleges. So for example, my experience was over two days. I had the CLT on one day and then two interviews the next day. Whereas I know other people who only had to do one interview and I did the CLT the same day. Now, this doesn't sound like that much of a difference, but because they had a whole evening and a whole morning to look at my CLT test, they had it in their hands and they really, they really grilled me on it. As I said in the video, they grilled me on my CLT. But obviously if you've done your CLT like an hour before, half an hour before your interview, then they don't have the time to look at it. So it won't come up in the, in the interview. And you know, having an academic question you on something that you've written the night before when you were really stressed is obviously something that's quite difficult. And honestly, I could barely remember the logic of what I'd written the night before. Everything was going so quickly. So yeah, there's a few other differences, but what I'm trying to say is that the interview is really the distinguishing factor between the applicants, which is important because it's realistically impossible for it to be carried out objectively for every applicant. And that's just the reality of applying to a university that requires an interview. So to sum up, if you want to, and you have the academic ability to do so, I don't see any reason why you wouldn't want to apply to Cambridge or Oxford. No matter the outcome, I think that the experience alone is worth going through the application process for. You know, it encourages you to do things sooner, like finishing your personal statement a bit earlier. And doing it will expose you to things that most other people who haven't applied won't understand or experience for at least another few years. So yeah, anyways, I hope you found this video informative. If you do, then please leave a like, subscribe, comment, the algorithm likes that. And I'll catch you in the next video. You wanna go, I can take you there. Put some faith